Hello friends and enemies, welcome to, we're back to Happy For Now. It's me, Isabel, here with my NetGalley check-in. Listen, I'm gonna be the first person to tell you I have not been the most responsible NetGalley reviewer in the last four months. I've not made a ton of progress since the last update, but I felt like it was good to end this year talking about everything I've picked up so far and just kind of where I'm at and my hopes, my goals, my dreams etc uh for this <laughs> a whole thing because the thing is i i know i can do this and i did the math i have 11 2024 releases on my net galley right now and i only have to read 50 books from my net galley in the next year to hit 80 percent if i didn't request anything else so when we take that 11 away that's only 39 books and i know i have two or three graphic formats to read i know i have a couple a handful of audios a lot of these are books that are already out so I should be able to get the audios from the library if I decide to and read them pretty quickly. So on that note like one of my big 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 goals is to read all of my new releases. I'm gonna try and do a vlog for that in January for y'all where I've read through all of them but also to make sure I'm staying current with my 2024 releases. Right now I think I only have one that that comes out in like June so like I'm already almost current once I do this video. <laughs> so that's exciting. But yeah, I not done a great job. My feedback rating right now is 65%. I'm not happy about it. But again, I do have quite a few books picked out that I'm excited to read already that I'm planning to start sooner than later to include in that video. So yeah, I'm not doing great. Um, Forever I love you. <laughs> but I did also just get approved to join Forever's influencer team for the next for the new year for like the winter season of books which means uh, I'm very excited and I already am auto approved for forever on NetGalley but that also means I'm gonna have access to more things slash get other things like specifically to read for it so like I'm pumped but I also know that means I need to like in January I need to be on my game you know like I've got to be on this and able to get through these books so yeah let's talk about everything new that I've gotten since the last NetGalley check-in and these are just going to be in order of release date and then I'll tell you the two I've read. So first up I did get Nina the Starry Bride volume one. I have already read this so I requested it on purpose. I literally requested it and reviewed it right away. The physical volumes finally started coming out for the series. One of my favorite romance fantasy series and manga right now. It is right up there with the Throne of the Dawn for me. This follows a girl who is looks a lot like the princess and gets to assume the role of the princess who is no longer with us or something's going on. Uh, so she assumes that role. She was living on the streets and stuff and we follow her journey through that and uh, it's it's a fantastic manga. Highly highly recommend if you're avoiding it because it was digital only. It's the perfect time to pick it up. Then I also just got the Amore actually which I have right here. I have it. Um, I physically own this. I requested the audio on NetGalley for Amore actually because the audio comes out the day you're watching this. And I've been wanting to read this and I've been the worst about picking it up, but I do have it mostly signed, I think. I'm not sure who I'm missing. I need to check uh, because this might be a good one to take to, to stimulate next year because I think the couple I'm missing will be there. But anyways, this I just got an audio of. Again, it comes out today if you're watching this video the day it came out. I'm really excited for it. That is an easy, easy review for me to do and like to listen to and do. So I'm, I'm pumped. Then we have Mislaid in parts half known by Shauna McGuire. This comes out early January on like the 9th. Uh, I'm doing my Q1 releases soon. So like dates, dates will be right there. This is the next book in the Wayward Children series, one of my favorite novella series. I read the new release every year as it comes out and I'm really, really, really excited for this one. I am pumped to see what happens here and I'm pumped to see like where we're gonna be. There's like a dinosaur on the cover so I'm just I'm really intrigued. I don't know a ton about it. I've not I never read about these. I just pick them up as I come out and like dive in so I'm excited. Yeah so we have How You Get the Girl by Anita Kelly. I'm really sad about this but Anita Kelly unfortunately made some less than savory remarks on threads which means a lot of people don't see it and now has since deleted their, their threads account <sighs> the remarks were pretty anti-semitic and kind they kind of doubled down on those remarks and from what i've seen haven't like fully grappled with what they said and adjusting that accordingly so i'm pro i possibly will read this and that'll be my last book since i have an arc of it but yeah, I'm really disappointed 
because they were writing some of my favorite sapphic and queer romances. Then I have um, This Could Be Us by Kennedy Ryan, the second book in her series that is going on right now. I haven't read the first one yet, so I do need to read that and then I will read this. I'm very excited for it, but I'm also not ready to be emotionally devastated. The other newest one I got is Bride by Allie Hazelwood. This is her Omegaverse. And I think this may be one of the first traditionally published Omegaverses. And I already like Allie Hazelwood, but I have been ecstatic for her to write outside of the contemporary genre for a while. <laughs> After hearing her speak on panels and talk about her love of Omegaverse and fix and things like that, and like knowing she's from the fic world, I'm just very excited to see what she does when it comes to Omegaverse and how this all works out, if that makes sense. So I am very, very excited to read that one. Next we have At First Spite by Olivia Dade. This is her next one that's coming out in February as well. This one I'm pumped for because this is all about like basically her living next door to her ex's brother who broke them up and her terrorizing him with like loud monster erotica and other things and she builds like a spite house basically next door and I think this is going to be really fun. I always love, I get burnt out on Lenny Kaufman covers, you don't get me wrong, but I always love the one she does for Olivia. And I think it's due to the body diversity in them. So I'm excited. I'm intrigued. I'm hopeful. The next one I just got, we're not talking about because unfortunately, though it's sapphic and I'm very excited for it, it is a St. Martin's Press book. And if you're curious, there's a link to the petition down below if you'd like to sign that and help us tell St. Martin's that they need to say something. And we're not going to just forget. So there's that. And then last but not least, I got Twelfth Night, which is, I don't remember who it, the new pin name, but it's Olivia's, Olivia's Blake's YA pin name. This is about two teens who play a game online together, like an MMORPG. Uh, and as a former MMORPG girly, this caught my attention because I guess he doesn't know who she is and she figures out who he is. He's like an injured football player or something. And it's their romance. And this sounds really cute. I love I love when we involve video games in books like this and I love that like the concept of it sounded really cute so I immediately requested it and I got lucky and was approved so here we are I'm very excited to dive in uh but yeah so on the red front we have two books that I have read so I read Nina and the Starry Bride which I already told you about loved it fantastic still one of my favorites and then I also read Kiss and Spell by Celestine Martin this is book two in her series I'm really excited for the next one. I'm really excited for anything else Celestine writes, to be honest with you at this point, but Kiss and Spell is fantastic. These for me are what I want out of these cozy witch books we keep getting, but they aren't delivering everything I want. Th this book delivered on that. This one follows our heroine who falls in love with like a fake prince guy and they have to find out how they can be together while she is also like defeating a curse and has recently like left her fiance and is struggling with the image of like who she should be and who she wants to be. So yeah, it's really, really freaking cute. Like really freaking cute. Absolutely adored it. I have a signed copy on my shelves. Like cannot recommend this series enough. Witchful Thinking was also fantastic. But yeah, these have been so good. But yeah, those are all of the new arcs I've gotten. The two I've read. Like I said, I've been bad. But our next update, I will have more. There will be more because I will I'm doing that vlog. So I think for the vlog, let me know your guys' thoughts, but I'm probably just going to do the first six months. So I'll read January through June and then maybe in June I'll read for the rest of the year. But we'll see. Like the catch up, do like a, I think I'm going to do two parts. Like I'll do a catch up in June or July where I read whatever other arcs I haven't gotten to for the year in that. But yeah, I will be back with my next update in a little bit. Let me know how your neck alley progress is going. Like I said, I'm mortified with myself right now. I told myself I was gonna do better and I knew this video was coming and I still didn't do better. So we're gonna work on that a lot in the next year. 2024 goal, four goals will probably feature Nick Alley and reviewing better, being better uh, heavily. But yeah, that's everything for this one. If you don't wanna leave me any of the, either of those things, you can leave me a uh, sad face because <laughs> I'm very sad with myself right now. And yeah, I will have links to all the books I talked about, links to be my friend, anywhere on the internet that I am, and I will talk to y'all in just a few days. Bye. With me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for